<laughs> Welcome to OC Donut Steel. That's the artist. <laughs> I'll just introduce myself. I'm Evan. Okay. This is Alana. And we're here today talking about, I drew some Charlie's Angels fan art. You can see me drawing as we speak. This is live. I'm just kidding. This is not live. <laughs> Both hands up. But it is sped up. So this footage is uh, my fan art reaction to the new Charlie's Angels trailer. There's a new movie coming out in November starring Kristen Stewart, uh, Elizabeth Banks, who also directed it, Naomi Scott, and... And she's Bosworth, right? Uh... Bosley. Bosley. Bosworth. Bosworth. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth Banks is both the director, I think she had a hand in the script, and plays the character of Bosley. Uh -huh. Who, remember the old, the old new Charlie's Angels? Because, I mean, it's funny to say this now, like this is uh, from 2000, 2001. Uh -huh. And it's funny to think that this is, you know, this was the remake, and now it's like an old version, the old new version. Uh -huh. And this, did you like this one from back in the day? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Directed by McG. Yeah. Great I name for director. And starring Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu, and who's the third one? Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, of course, who also produced it. And she was the redhead. Oh, yeah. So you were saying you're upset that there's not a redhead in the new one? Well, I wouldn't say upset. I just think it's weird. You did. We just watched the trailer to get a fresh reaction from you. And. Your reaction was honestly, where's the redhead? You thought they were gonna show up. Well, yeah, I thought there was gonna be a redheaded one. Yeah. Who is the redheaded one? Because I never saw the old TV show. Uh huh. Who is the redheaded one there? Oh, I forget. You know how bad I am with names, even. <laughs> Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett was the blonde. But she was on Charlie's Angels. Mm -hmm. Am I remembering that correctly? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Because the only thing I remember seeing her in was the Cannonball Run. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm so bad with names. Well, are you looking forward to this new version of the movie? This new Charlie's Angels? Not really. I mean, it looks pretty stupid to me. <laughs> oh, ouch. Okay, honesty. <laughs> but I got excited. I'm hyped. That's why I'm drawing this. These are all, well, going from left to right in the art you see down here on the left is a panel of Kristen Stewart in her athletic costume from the trailer. Because there's one point where she, like, I don't know, steals someone's keys or something, or goes up to the hotel concierge dressed in athletic gear. I don't know. There's always okay. like a disguise thing, right? Yeah. It's Charlie's Angels classic material. Yeah. And then the panel next to that, uh, it's split down the middle, but it's like one image of taken from a photo of Elizabeth Banks and Kristen Stewart. So Elizabeth Banks in the middle, kind of obscured. There you go. And uh, Kristen Stewart on the right. So I like always am drawing with a mechanical pencil and then going over it. This is all recently though, of course I drew all this since right. the trailer came out. And going over it right now with the Hunt 102 pen nib, mm -hmm. which is tricky. Oh really, why? It's hard. Well the thing about the Hunt 102 is that you can get really thin, two really thick lines just by applying pressure and it's funny. Oh, is this? No, this is not. Oh. I was saying it's funny that I'm holding this up because this is a Micron uh, pigment liner. Mm -hmm. And this is good. It's quality archival ink. And this is good to go over it, you know, to get like a second a second coat of ink basically. So like after you do this? Yeah, I'll go back with the, the liners after I do the Hunt 102. But I like the, the darkness of the speedball ink I'm using with the Hunt 102. And like I was saying, I like how you can start and get a really thin line. Mm -hmm. And then as you apply pressure, get a thicker line. But you see me here, it's like this is not how you should be using it. Like I'm kind of, scratching it back and forth and like pinching it and like treating it like a pen and I'm, I shouldn't be doing that. But it's not a pen? Well it's it's like a, it's a, it's a nib so like all the inks on the end of the line versus oh. you know like a ballpoint pen it's you can just go back and forth because it's like just a ball rolling. I see. But with the with the nib again you really only should be dragging it away from you like you just but I am constantly cheating that. I'll have it on the side. So it's just, you know, I've been using it, not getting any better, but using it for five, six years now. And I know what I need to do with it, but I still feel like there's something I'm missing. Like people who are masters with those, mm -hmm. or even, even more impressive are the people who don't even use the nib, they use a brush. Oh yeah, I've seen that. So when people ink with a brush, it's just like, I would freak out. Like I, you completely lose all control. So the level of control you have is liner, most control, uh, nib, 
medium amount of control and then the brush is just it's just it's it's up to the one above at that point you know you really have to you have to get it's an article of faith and if you watch these videos closely of what i'm doing well what i know i always notice the parts where i screw up so you might notice those too and that's really you know it's just it's an article of faith you just have to trust that it's going to come out okay even when you're not happy with a line as it comes out um, so, like, what inspired you to uh, draw this? Are you a fan of any of the actresses in this film? Or, like, why are you looking forward to this film so much? I There's a couple things working in this film's favor. I do like, I like the angels this time around, not just Kristen Stewart, but also huh, the presence of Elizabeth Banks, even as Bosley. Mm -hmm. And the other new girl, Naomi Scott, who was just in the Aladdin movie. Oh, yeah. She, she played Jasmine. Good. Yeah, she was really good. And she's been in some other stuff too, I think. I've, oh, she was in the Power Rangers movie that came out a couple years ago. She was the Pink Ranger. Oh, really? So she's got, you know, and the other girl, Ella, she's a British actress. Mm -hmm. I forget, I don't think she's been in very many things, so she's kind of the new one. She's also like the new angel in the trailer. Did Kristen Stewart have any affairs on this set that you've heard of? Oh my gosh, no, I don't know, but now that you mentioned it, just in case no one knows the context for that, what affair are you talking about? I'm talking about, hasn't she like been involved with every single, in every single project she's been in, with somebody either a star or a director, married director? Yeah, that's the more serious one because she was in Twilight and I think she, you know, she dated Robert Pattinson, the vampire. Right. Who's not Batman. Mm -hmm. So they should just skip right into the Red Rain Batman story where he becomes a vampire. That'd be great. Anyway, tangent. But no, the more serious one, you know, it was just dating, but I think she cheated on him, you know, mm -hmm. talking about, I'm talking about these people's love lives. I've never met them. How appropriate is that? <laughs> uh, well, you're drawing them, so, so why I, not? You can have an opinion, but, you know, I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying that she did, I believe, cheat on Robert Pattins Pattinson, allegedly with the director of Snow White and the Huntsman, Rupert Sanders, mm -hmm. who the awkward, the extra awkward thing about that was, of course, he's married. Right. And he was married to the actress that played her mother in the movie. Yeah. Snow White's mother. Yeah. So extra awkward. But he's not married anymore, right? Yeah. I think that there, I think it's related. I think there's a reason for it. But I like that Snow White movie. It's good. Okay. We've got the 4K it's version good. of it. There's, you mean the one with Charlize Theron? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. They made a sequel that's not as good. And it doesn't have Kristen Stewart, so she backed out of the sequel. Yeah. But Charlize, Charlize is in the sequel. Chris Hemsworth is in the sequel. Mm -hmm. uh, but I kind of like, I like I like that first Twilight movie too, with Kristen Stewart. They get bad. Yeah, but I they never start really enjoyed Twilight. Was it not, you weren't quite the, um, in the demo for it? I don't think I was. Did you know anyone that was super into Twilight at the time? Again, this is funny because we're thinking back like more than 12 years ago. Yeah, I don't I don't think I did know anybody that was super into it. Um, I think that at that point, True Blood was a more interesting thing and like Alan Ball is involved in that, right? Right, True Blood, and, the, Patri uh, the patrician alternative. Yeah, so I think that's what everybody that I knew was into. Mm -hmm. And that's, that has nothing to do with Charlie's Angels, but I will say True Blood, the first couple seasons of that really had me hooked. It jumps the shark eventually. A little bit. But from the, the beginning was great. I just love Vampire Bill. It'd be like, Suki, when I return home, I will require relations. That's my Vampire Bill impression. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. It's all right. It's pretty good. Um, so with this uh, Charlie's Angels, I'm not really looking forward to seeing it. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably rather wait until it was on TV. Okay, but a um, reason to go see it in the theater. Can you guess why? Quality wise? Is it shot in 4K? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Check the tech specs in IMDb, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a, a true 4K film. So I want to check out in Dolby Cinema. Uh, in Dolby Cinema? Oh my gosh, what a waste. <laughs> You're agreeing to it now, okay. Uh, no, I just said what a waste. <laughs> Um, okay, maybe not, maybe not. So, I would say that there's probably every single movie that goes out at the same time is going to be better. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this is going to do well in the box office, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that they have like a Drew Barrymore cameo in this or something that relates back to the angels that 
people actually liked. Yeah, that'd be, I, you know, I'd go for that. I'm not sure how likely that is, but yeah. let's check it out. Uh, one final comment from me as we end it. Speaking of me screwing up, you can see I kind of gave that Kristen Stewart a goatee. Oh, you'll fix it. I do fix it later, but not in this video. We're getting near the end of this one, but thanks for joining us. We'll be back again. Oh, we're with, already done? Yeah, we'll be back again with more art in the future, so we'll see you. Bye, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe down below.